I, I would say three all together. You got part of one here, part of one here, and two there. So three all together. So three frames of these. Okay. So go ahead and pull your, go ahead and break them loose just like we did before. Don't have a frame grabber, and again, I would try and be able to move it over like this. Now that you have that, you can move this out, and you can pull, pull that next one out. Okay. Um, that next one, it's actually got like comb kind of like hanging out. So I noticed you've got your rubber bands on these. So yeah, uh, um, you'll be fine there. They'll not be connected. Let's go ahead and yeah, that one fell off. <laughs> Now that you can work everything so I'm gonna kind of slide these back a little bit and we're gonna pick this one up right oh, here we got it. it's, it's attached that rubber band right there is attached to this okay. frame okay. there we go good call all right I'm gonna set your high fuel right back down here okay all right now we're gonna pick this first one up down a little further with it there you go now now grab it hold it tight bring it straight up okay we're not going to tilt it over nice. we're going to keep it and i'm going to hold it for you for a second all right okay. all right and the reason why i'm not going to tilt it over remember i was talking about see it's, it's barely on there and there's quite a bit of nectar in there you see the pollen yes the pollen that's in there so this is a frame that these bees are working on uh, with a, a good, and again, this is the original cone that came out of that, uh, that hot water tank. So probably not going to see much activity on here as far as what we're looking for, but to see the pollen, see the nectar, we know that they're, they're working on this. All right. So we're going to put this. Take it straight up. All right. So on this one, we can see that we've got brood. Okay. I can see brood on there. I can see some larva. Um, I'm not seeing any eggs, but I'm not as close as I was on the other one. I Do see you see? The queen. You see the queen? Yes. She spotted the queen. Yeah, she's she got here. white on her. Yeah, she's right. Natalie, she's kind of next to my right oh, hand. Here. Yeah. She got a little white on her. Yeah. She just, just went to the other side. side. Just went to the other side. Now she's now. I, I painted her white. White was last year, and obviously she came from last year. I don't know how old she is, but I can assume she's at least last year, right? All right, so we've got her. Uh, They're working now. I appreciate you bringing them. Okay, once again, we've got some comb that really hasn't been totally built out. We've got some good larva going on right here. we got some cap brood. Um, I didn't see any drone proof. Um, anyway, sir. so let's go ahead and put that one back in. Drone on the other side as well. You did see cap root over there? Uh, yes, on this side as well. Okay. Hey, let's good. go ahead and pull that last frame out. So you see this wider comb here? Yes. They're starting to build that out. The darker comb is obviously the older comb that was in there. They're putting uh, some nectar in there, a little bit of pollen. So uh, these bees are, they're working. They're working. I don't see any drone drone bees in there yet, but it's still kind of a little early. All right, we'll go ahead and put that one back in. Put that back in. 
Now, this is a colony that we recently extracted from the hot water tank. There's been no treatment, as far as I know, on these bees. So we might see a little more mite activity on these bees because there's been no treatment. Now, if you want to go ahead and start tending to putting that back, so take this one first and slide it up okay. against. Yep. seem to they kind of come towards it and they're like nah and kind of go away from it they don't really land on it as much I think it's cool weather kind of keeps some of the aggressiveness out yeah. of it and I may get in that other hive today I don't, I don't know I was just in there yesterday okay so before we button it up yeah. uh, let's take our hive tool and put you a little bit of gap on this end about that Okay, and then down there, push that back, push that back, and that's going to be good. So you've got everything together, pretty much, all the way down, and we're good to go. I'm going to finish, uh, you can put your pollen patty, I'm going to put it back over right in here. Now, do you see how much quicker we got through this, this, uh, Hive than we did the other one, and if we hadn't have been talking and instructing, we'd have been through pretty quick. So it's not like you want to go, but you want to accomplish what you're here to do, yeah, and that really was like we wanted to inspect uh, for mites. We wanted to kind of get an idea of the colony, and we wanted to make sure that we're queen right. We wanted to look at brood, what what the stages of brood were, what the pattern was. And again, this is still really early and these are weak, weak hives, so the brood pattern is not going to be as, as definable as what we would like. Maybe in, a, in another month or so, we could actually look at that. But uh, anyway, this is really kind of what you're going to call, uh, see as a cluster, a winter cluster. So this is called a mantle. So the bees get into what they call a mantle and in the middle of it is the nucleus. So basically the middle of the nucleus is where the queen's gonna be with your younger nurse bees. And then the outer bees are gonna be your older worker bees. And the reason why they call it a mantle and a nucleus is because it becomes one organism for sugar or, or honeys out here, but you have an empty frame in between. There's a good chance those bees will never get to that honey and starve to death, okay? so. If you had a single, this is a, this is a, a deep right here. If you had a deep and you're going into winter, you want to take your honeys, move them toward the center of this. And then if you're going to put stores of sugar, uh, maybe sugar candy, yeah. not, the, not, not sugar water, but sugar candy oh. on top of here, you want it to be in the center. So that, that, that organism or that uh, mantle is going to work its way up and feed off of that and be strong come springtime. Okay. So, I think I've shaken this enough. Yes. I think I left my water back in the truck, so we'll go ahead. Okay. Oh, this one. You see that one there? Can you see it down in the bottom? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty defined. Okay. Actually, I think I see another one. I'm gonna see two. That's quite a few for most people. That looks like uh, potentially another one right there. 
See on the tip of that? Mm -hmm. Can you get it on tight? Is it, is it is it one? Oh yeah. It is? Yep. Okay. So on the tip of that J. Yeah. And then there's a second one right there. So there's two. Now, just because I have these bees here and I have these bees over there, doesn't mean that those bees aren't gonna co mingle. Right. So we didn't see any mites up there. We saw mites here, so it's it's a, a likelihood that they could transfer the mites. So when people go, well, I don't have any mites. Well, you might not have any mites today, but next week they then come in with somebody else's bees or wild bees, and you might have mites. So it's it's good to inspect. Definitely spring and definitely fall. Okay. Not to say that you can't inspect any time, and it's probably a good, good thing to inspect on a regular basis. But anyway, so that's uh, that's um, I don't like that we saw mites, but the fact is, they're mites. All right, and people say that I don't have mites, probably in denial, you know. So.